So you think your family is weird? Well, yeah, it probably is. They always are. However, this crazy day in the life documentary of underground comic artist Robert Crumb gives us a glimpse into a very odd bunch. A mother with your classic 1950s amphetamine addiction, an abusive, tyrannical father, ashamed of his geeky, effeminate boys. One brother is as crazy as a shithouse rat, housebound and a self-confessed pedophile, and another brother is addicted to molesting women. Then there's Robert, the focus of the whole movie. First things first, Robert Crumb is a living legend. He is responsible for a huge wave of underground psychedelic comic books that were cropping up in the 1960s. Although Crumb is largely embarrassed and ashamed of any of his work's commercial success, he is an incredibly talented and provocative artist. You'd have seen some of his work like Keep On Trucking, Mr Natural and of course Fritz the Cat. He isn't your typical tortured artist, he is thought-provoking and challenging, and his art is definitely a reflection of the man himself. The documentary focuses a lot on his sexual deviancy, and tries to examine the relationship he has with women through his art. In fact, the makers explore every man's worst nightmare and track down Crumb's ex-girlfriends. This actually helps contextualise just how fucking bizarre this dude is, particularly in the sack. He has a giddy schoolboy attitude towards sex, lots of piggybacks and dry humping and giggling. Saying that, one of his exes reveals that he actually has the biggest penis in the world, and she's a pornographer. The documentary is put together by some heavyweights, directed by Terry Zwigoff, who went on to direct Ghost World and Bad Santa. Also, the film is presented by David Lynch, although it isn't clear what he actually did on the movie but fuck it, I'd watch a David Lynch commission dogfight as long as I know David Lynch was involved. The man's a genius. Terry Gilliam famously donated a nickel to the film having worked with Crumb in the early 60s. And I think that says a lot about the relationship that he must have had with the man. Anyway, the movie was shot over six years and tracks progress on Crumb's impending move to France. It's clear that he has a deep hatred for corporate America. And to be fair to the guy, he has turned down some massive endorsements, including a reported $100,000 fee for designing a Rolling Stones album cover. Crumb spends a lot of time talking about how much he generally hates society and is clearly very much an outsider. Art runs throughout the Crumb family. Eldest brother Charles is a superb artist whose work was mirrored by his own descent into madness, developing an obsession with an infant character from Treasure Island. His early work is dominated by the small boy. He later confessed to having a deep sexual attraction to the child cartoon character. Freakish and scary depictions of characters with strange foldings dominate his later work. This is then replaced by maniacal graphomania. At times, Charles talks of suicide attempts and not having the will to live. Could be symptoms of a classic tortured artist, isolated in a world that clearly wasn't built for him. However, the end credits reveal that Charles would go on to commit suicide. A sad and tragic story. The youngest crumb brother, Maxon, is also an artist, a good one too. He claims to have had a hankering for art after his violent seizures started, despite never showing any interest and promise in the area of art. One of the more positive sides of the documentary is the relationship between Crumb and his own children. There are some touching moments where he is coaching them both while they sit patiently and draw together. Again, this sadly ends badly, with Jesse dying in a car accident in late 2018. All in all, Crumb is a fascinating guy, part Larry David, part cripplingly shy introvert, opinionated, giggly, and at some times childish. However, it is clear that his contribution to modern culture and the world of comic books is immeasurable. Check it out, it's really interesting and also challenging. It will make you think, and keep on trucking.